my sheer star goddess okay so i'm back today and i know i have like all these haul videos and i'm always buying junk but this time i bought like some real witchy stuff y'all like i went specifically for these supplies and so i'm going to show y'all okay the store that i went to is like a local store in houston i don't know if they have them all over texas or in other I think they do have them all over Texas. I don't know if they have them in other states, but the name of the store is called Fiesta. And there, that's how it works, Fiesta. And it's like a Hispanic um, grocery store, but they have everything in there. So you can buy your regular groceries, but it's it caters to, you know, Latinas, Latinos, Hispanics. And so they have this aisle there, and the aisle is just like full of holistic medicines and herbal um tinctures and essential oils and then in another aisle they have like the um these type of oils for santeria they have like the santeria aisle they have the candle aisle i mean they just have like you can go there and you can buy your groceries you can get fresh produce you can get they have like a coffee shop in there like a starbucks almost it's not really starbucks but it's, it's just like starbucks you can get your magic on you can get yeah, you know, they have everything. So you can go in there and get everything in one stop. They have herbs. It's really cheap. Um, so I got these oils. This one is St. Martha. I got St. Martha because I work with Yamaya. And I um, also work with Erzuli. And so she is um, the patron saint or the saint that they substitute for her. And this, this oil, and um, she can get your significant loved one, your, your mate, your husband, whoever, to get, see your perspective when like there's a, um, a quarrel or like some bickering. This is to get him back in line. <laughs> so to see your perspective, to see things from your point of view, to understand, you know, your side and to, you know yield um <clears throat> so then i got money drawing of course i put this um my purse my wallet when i do money spells and money candles um i dab some on or whatever when i'm you know doing business um attraction attraction oil i don't know if y'all can see that attraction oil is um whatever you're manifesting or trying to bring to you just add this um, to your spell, to your candle, to yourself, and you will attract it faster. Um, I also got this bath oil, if y'all can read that. It is Dr. Pryor's alleged Seven Holy Spirit Hyssop brand bath oil. It's four ounces. And this is what the bottle looks like, y'all. And you can see the herbs and stuff in there. I opened this up and I smell it and it smells just like roses, y'all. <sighs> you'll, you'll smell like roses when you put this on. Um, this is the Seven Holy Spirit. And that I've heard that like if you're trying to communicate with your guides or the, the uh, angelic realm and the spirit, that rose and like really good smelling flowers, especially roses, they like the smell of that. So if you have this on you're more likely to attract angelic and um, higher dimensional beings. Because, okay, y'all y'all gonna laugh. I, I was reading this book. I don't know which, I forgot which book it came from or I think I read it online, but I'm not sure. But it says that angelic beings and spiritual um, higher dimensional beings say that humans smell. They don't like their smell. So that is why a lot of magic and a lot of in a lot of magic they want you to spiritually cleanse yourself and cover yourselves in oils and stuff and perfumes and they did this in the egyptian days um in ancient kemet they bathed in oils and people were just thought that they were just gross and nasty and like why are you don't use water that's gross you know it's because they were connected and in order to communicate with these beings you have to smell good, okay? They think you stink. And it's nothing against you. I mean, like when you go to the zoo, <laughs> you smell the monkeys, you smell the lions, you smell the zebras, you smell 
they just don't smell as clean and as nice as you, right? So it's it's kind of the same thing. Like their sensor, their senses are much more um, higher than ours. So you know they can there's so they can smell like you know how like a dog knows that you're you're home before you even get there because he can smell you. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is why it's important for the oils and the perfumes, y'all. Because if you want spiritual connection, if you want the spirits to be near, you, that's why you burn incense to cover up your stink, you know, and also to attract. <laughs> I know y'all are laughing, but it's true. I read it in, the, in this book and I saw like I've seen it multiple places. You can probably look it up online, too. Um, so that's what the incense and the candles and the perfumes and the oils attracting the spirits down to you. So, you know. <clears throat> they can be near you. That's why it's important to stay clean. Y'all know in the Bible, it's the cleanliness is next to godliness. All right. And like a lot of people, um, <laughs> yeah, so it, 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 it really doesn't matter if you're clean. It just matters if you smell nice, I guess, because like in some cultures, you know, it's, it's rare to have enough water to take a bath every day. So, and you know, they cover themselves with perfumes and sprays and what not, you know, um, so that's fine too. Um, so let me show y'all what else I got on that subject. Some soap. I got, this is like, um, patchouli scented soap by Murray and Lineman and Lineman. And it is, it has real patchouli oil in it. And it's, it was cheap as well. It's like $2. All these oils are like two something. Um, this essential oil, I got lemongrass essential oil to make uh, my Van Van oil and some bath oils and um, scrubs. That was $4. Um, but this, I love the little theme on it, the picture. It's like Egyptian and it has hieroglyphs on it. Okay. So, and then I also got this um, Egyptian licorice mint tea. Because I've heard some really good things about licorice and mint as far as um, psychic enhancement, protection, um, lucid dreaming and all that good stuff. And this is yogi tea. I think this is like two nine two seventy five or something for this whole pack. So I love that. Um, okay, and then my, I went to my mom's house. She has a farm. She gave me a bunch of produce. I got lettuce. I got uh, uh, okra. I got jalapenos. I got cayenne pepper. I got green beans. I got fresh eggs. So she gives me um, all that stuff. She gave me these pumpkin pie, creamy pumpkin pie candles. I think she said she just got it at Dollar General. I don't know. But um, since she gave me the tea lights, I've already used one. But I thought that was nice because she doesn't burn candles. She just buys them for the scent and she just lets the scent, you know, come out. Because one day she left the candle burning and she it like singed um, a shelf because she left it burning on a shelf. I'm like, you don't put a candle like on a small shelf. You got to put it, you know. <laughs> So she doesn't burn candles anymore after that because it kind of scared her that she's going to burn down her house. Okay, so at that um, grocery store fiesta, at the counter, they have these little handouts. And it's like a glossy page. And it's um, it's about Dia de los Muertos. And I just wanted to read this to y'all because it's very interesting. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Dia de los Muertos. What would you do if someone invites you to a Day of the Dead festivity? Would you go? Or does the mere idea of it give you the major case of the creeps? Well, you're not alone, amigo. We all try to deny, cheat, and minimize death. Although the holiday's exact origin is uncertain, it is believed that it began with the Olmecs around 3,000 years ago. They saw life as an illusion and believed that in dying, human beings truly awakened and their souls were set free. When the Spaniards defeated the Aztecs in, 1500s, in the 1500s, they converted the indigenous peoples to Catholicism. However, they encountered resistance when attempting to eradicate all native religious traditions. In a compromise sanctioned by the church, Dia de los Muertos was merged with two Christian holidays, All Saints Day on November 1st and All Souls Day on November 2nd. This makes it a thoroughly unique cross-cultural holiday effectively blending two very different traditions. True to its roots, Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a celebration not of death, 
but of the continuum of life. Festivities are very specific and personal, featuring the favorite foods of the departed loved ones. Pan de los Muertos, Atole, Tamales, and Mole. And celebrating quality time with family and friends. Day of the Dead consists of a prayerful reflection, joy, and reverie in honoring the memory of those who have passed on. And so they hand these out at the counter, or you can just pick one up for your information. Yes. And Spanish on the back. So I thought that was interesting. I never actually knew that Dias de los, Dias de los Muertos um, was believed to have started with the Olmecs. Wouldn't you know? Anyway. <laughs> so I also wanted to show you my little pin that I made from um, the crafting video. Okay, y'all, I know y'all see Michael Jackson back there. I'm sorry. I did not put my camera in the right angle, but y'all know that I have to have my, um, my MJ up. Okay, so this is my pen that I made off um, the video for Witchcrafting. Um, if y'all haven't subscribed to that channel, it's they do a craft every day, a witchy craft every day. Um, and this one was a feather pen craft that I um, was inspired to do. I took my journaling pen. I think I showed y'all in one of my hauls my journaling pens. They're new. I took a black feather that I got at Michael's and um, I had this just laying around so I didn't have to buy anything. All this stuff was just laying around already. Yes, I have feathers just laying around my house, y'all. I had a pack of these feathers, the blue. And I had these rhinestones because I, bl I used to bling out phone cases and other things and sell. And then just a black ribbon and some duct tape. Um, I use these colors because like one of my goddesses that I work with, one of them is um, Yamaya. And I'm also a Pisces, so um, and my element is water. So I've, I've used the water, the blues and the greens. And then I chose black. I use the black for protection. And um, I used the, um, yeah, I used the black ribbon. And I left this part on purposely um, uncovered because this pin has a top. So when I want to, right I just stick it up there and I just go ahead and write bye 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 and this only took about seven minutes to make um because of it's just tape ribbon and feathers just tucked in there and then I just glued the rhinestones on so now I can use this to write in my book of shadows my spells my petition for whatever I'm doing um I like to write people letters with this or thank you cards or birthday cards. Like right now I'm getting ready to write my niece a card with it. So I thought that was sweet. Um, oh, also at my mom's, like she's always giving me stuff. She gave me this fabric. I think it's, it was an old curtain. But it's like an olive color fabric and it's velvety. And I don't know if I'm going to use it as my curtain or if I'm going to drape it over my sh um, craft shelf so y'all don't see my, my mess. And just looks like a curtain and you don't know what's behind it. So yeah, I got that too. But um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm excited to use this uh, Seven Holy Spirit oil. It smells so good. Anyway, that's it y'all. Um, hopefully the next video will be my craft video because I will remember to get the paint for it. Um, <clears throat> sorry y'all. Yes, I wear my glasses now. Uh, I used to wear contacts all the time. And then I'm like, you know what? I like my glasses. I might get some more contacts later, but <clears throat> I'm not wearing them right now because I just, I'm comfortable in my glasses. And when I need to read something, I got them. Okay, so, plus y'all, they're Prada. Why not? <laughs> okay, so, um, y'all come back and y'all watch me make my scrying mirror. I'm going to make this beautiful frame into a black scrying mirror. Um, and then I might do, I might go into some um, information about scrying as well while I'm doing the project. So that'll be something to learn from as well. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And um, blessings.